So this video is going to be about how I printed the 3D lattice cube, also known as the torture cube. This 3D print came out surprisingly well since it came out of a $350 Canadian printer. So after I did the live stream, I had a lot of people ask me how I got the printer to print so well. So I'll be sharing three tips on how I printed this cube without any problems. So the first most important tip is know your filament. I can't stress this enough since I just switched to a new filament called Amaze, which I got on Amazon. The print quality came out not as good. It was actually my first time using the Amaze filament and I just plopped on what the settings I use for this filament. Knowing your filament makes a huge difference. I was almost out when I was printing this one. So I had a lot of experience printing with this filament. If you guys have this filament, I was using 0.3 layer height, 0.8 walls and 20% infill. Printing temperature was at 220 for the first initial layer and then I turned it down to 205. So it, when I was printing these overhangs, it can quickly cool down. Build plate temperature was at 65. Retraction was enabled to 6.5 millimeters. I played around with flow for quite some time and I, I found out that 110% works the best for me. As for printing speed, it was set to 80 millimeters per second. For the initial layer print, it was only set to 30 millimeters per second. Do keep in mind that each print is different. If I was printing a vase, I wouldn't use these settings. For example, if you know you'd be printing a lot of overhangs, you want a colder temperature versus a, a higher temperature. This is so the filament doesn't sag when you print. So tip number two is printing with a large brim. I had so many prints that made it way through, it just fell over and I had to restart. In connection to having a large brim, I highly recommend getting the blue scotch tape as well as using hairspray. Like this guy right here, it, sometimes I may have a hard time just taking the print off. It's a lot easy when you have the tape on the bottom since I can just peel off the tape and it just comes off with the 3D print as well. Tip number three is adjusting your printer. So things like adjusting your belts, make sure the bed is level, make sure there's no clog in the hot end. I can't stress enough how many times I had to clean my hot end before I did this print. When I say know your filament, I really mean know your filament. If you're gonna stay with one brand, great. You're gonna have a lot of experience with that. This was my second print uh, with the MG Chemical. I had a lot of problems. When they tell you what temperature to use, they only have a range between like 180 or like 240. You're gonna need to play around with it. And sometimes even having a too high of a temperature will cause clogs like what happened here. It stopped halfway. Printing speed is also really important. You can't print too slow and also you can't print too fast. So the benefit of having a fast print is that there'll be less stringing versus a slow print. But what happens with a slow print is your hot end is gonna ooze some filament as it crossed to point A to point B. I had very minimal stringing on my lattice cube as you saw in the live stream. It's always better to go slower than faster. If it's stringing, then you can simply just cut off the stringing with some pliers and that's it. I really hope you guys can take my tips and print your lattice cube as successful as mine. Um, this just shows that it doesn't matter about the printer, it's all about the settings and tweaking and adjustments. Like I seen Mercury Muse um, use some really expensive 3D printer and it came out similar to this, which is not that great. So again, the most important one is know your filament and play around with, this, with the settings as you print other stuff.